Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Not too long ago, the Americans have taken the mines and turned it into the Mindsland. An HE spamming, ship burning abomination couldn't use the torpedoes. It was all terrible. So it's time for the Germans to take some revenge and for the Kriegsmarine to welcome her newest member, the Cleveheim. There we go. It looks way too American right now. So let's change that. First of all, this needs to be in the port of Hamburg, which is sufficiently snowy, slushy, dreary, and all about drab. And she needs to... Well, we need to change her equipment, because we're going to brawl. Because that's what German ships do. So we need a brawling cruiser. We can't fit any torpedo tubes on these things, because the silly Americans haven't put any on it. They've just got secondaries. Well, let's have a quick look at those secondaries. Let's see what they can do. We got main guns, secondary guns. Uh, 5.8 kilometer range, so that's about as much range as our torpedoes should have had. But we could do a bit more. Um, six second reload, not actually too bad. Let's, uh, let's secondary spec that thing. So nobody needs precision because we're going to get up close and stab them anyway. What can we do? We could do secondary reload or we could do... Um, yeah, secondary range sounds good. It also extends the AA range so the pesky planes don't get into our way while we're brawling someone. So let's do that. And we don't need propulsion because once we're once we're up to speed, we're not we're never going to stop again anyway. So steering mod is it. That way we get the best turn time and we can actually, you know, dodge some stuff and things like that. All right, uh, commander. Okay, the commander. What are you going to get? Underwater protection. Uh, the, the, the Cleveheim has sonar, as, as, as is good and proper for a German ship. <laughs> so we're going to give her an additional sonar. And we're going to get artillery maintenance just for the beginning while we're trying to get in to get up close. Let's use the AA defense just because... Uh, so the pesky planes don't get in our way while we're doing this. There is no precise aiming, so uh, let's just get survivalist. Definitely Raycon, because good German Hydro needs to run for longer. And we get fully prepared. Um, adrenaline rush, yep, that's what we do, because we're expecting to take some damage in this thing. It doesn't have any armor, American ships. <laughs> Uh, close combat quarters, close quarters combat expert. Yes, please uh, get the secondary dispersion down so we can actually hit stuff properly. Uh, let's go for the honor seeker. And uh, this is a German ship, so uh, the main guns are gonna have to fire some armor piercing. I mean, American armor piercing. Eh, eh. Let's give him the APCS. There we go. And uh, horizontal protection, so we can take all the protection we can get because we are going to get up close and personal and stab them with our sword. Come on. Uh, what can we put on this that looks reasonable and actually has some good impact? Uh, no, that, that looks way too American. Um, May, this is just the standard thing. How about this one? Yeah, hit po secondary battery fire range. Yes, please, we're going to wander that one. There we go. All right, now she looks like a tiger tank. <laughs> and she, she's color matching uh, our, our general impression here. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? The slush, the dreary smoke, snow falling down, and a tiger-striped Cleveheim in the port. we got okay so she's not the most sturdy well she's just a light cruiser after all she is reasonably maneuverable the rudder turns pretty quickly now um 566 damage on the armor piercing isn't great but you know we've we've increased the penetration a little bit so we're definitely not going to be shooting any high explosive here armor piercing is the way to go just with the secondaries because we can't change that but we've got a 6.45 kilometer range on the secondaries now so we can open up on things and yeah, that sounds good. All right, uh, let's go. <laughs>
Okay, we are playing on Deadlock, big map. We've got a Lexington, a Richelieu, oh ho, oh, and a North Carolina, enemy Cleveland, and a couple of destroyers. So, good mix. Let's do this. Now, obviously, <laughs> jokes aside, uh, you, you can't take point in the Cleveland because it's a light cruiser. She gets shredded. And um, I've been trying around for quite a bit to make this work. But uh, you, you do need to have the enemy team scouted and you do need to be a bit careful in the beginning. But once the... If you get shot by shot at by everybody, you get focused on very, very quickly. But once everything has sorted itself out and you, you can you can pick a one-on-one -on -one fight, you can take things on. All right, so where are we? Let's go A. Switching over to the armor piercing and we're going to stay on the armor piercing. And um, yep, I'm going to head over and take, take care of A flank. No problem. Uh, let's see. We need to keep some islands between ourselves, but this is a huge map, so we shouldn't be getting into range of the battleships all too early, which is quite nice because anybody rushing forward, I can then pick off. Well, let's see what we find. Okay, there's one of the battleships. And someone's starting to cap A, so that's one of the destroyers. All right, the uh, second battleship. Okay, so these two I gotta watch out a little bit for, but they haven't seen me, so well, let's, let's keep it that way. But first, let's find that destroyer. So I'm just keeping the islands between myself and the battleships, because once I start opening up, I don't want to necessarily give broadside and uh, just turn right and kind of get a bit a bit of an angle. Okay, spotted radar up. Where is she? Leo should be right here. Okay, there's the Benson. And he starts shooting at me. Well, he's radar. He might as well. You are in secondary range. There we go. All right, come here then. Unless you have any torpedoes away, panic torpedoes, doesn't look like. So, I'm gonna just put my, my rear towards the battleships. And, uh, well, Mr. Benson, you're getting into a fight with the Cleveland. Are you sure that is wise? And it, but it looks like you've outrun your smoke. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, you couldn't know that I had, um, that both my, I don't know, my hydro was actually still up. So, yeah, that's probably what's, what's been taking you. Okay, there come the torpedoes. I'm just gonna turn away. Yeah, you cannot rush a Cleveland, <laughs> not in a destroyer. Your smoke ain't gonna help you, buddy. Okay, now he's running, but it's too late. I just gotta turn around again. Hopefully I'm too far away for the battleships to block me. And that should... Yep, there he goes. Okay, that's one Benson down. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, first of all, we're gonna, get, we're gonna take A cup. And then we're gonna rush us some battleships. Full speed ahead! Uh, I would have said dumb the torpedoes, but and what is that over there? Uh, double turret in the front. Is that a Frenchman we found ourselves here? He looks suitably on fire and he's relatively low on health. But So let's go and introduce ourselves. Hello! Have some armor piercing at range. And uh, full speed ahead and we're gonna rush him. Now he's turning in, so he's obviously seen us. Uh, yep, we're focusing that one. We're definitely rushing that thing. Yep, there come the shots. So definitely bow in and just dodge under these shells. And get a little bit closer. Come on, I want to get in secondary range. Stop shooting off my secondaries. I need those. Okay. And he's running away by the looks of it. Okay, uh, I might have waited a little bit too long on that one. Yeah, that hurt. Alright, oh, no worries, no worries. I got this. I'm gonna brawl him to death. And if it's the last thing I do, which is not completely unlikely. Uh, just a quick check on the sides. No, he's alone. Okay, I can take you in a one-on-one, -on -one, especially that you're low on health. Even if you were high on health, I would still do it. Okay. I'm just pointing in. Now that he fired, we can we can get uh, the rest of our guns to bear. Well, my secondaries are... We shot off a lot of my secondaries, so... Uh, that's not good. I'm gonna need those back at some point. Come on. Oh, there come the shots. Just dive under them. I do some over penetrations on the superstructure mostly. Okay, I, he, he can completely uh, citadel me from the front if he's trying. But now that he's fired, I'm gonna turn around again. Can I get you before there's another... Do you get your guns to reload? Come on, die already. Okay, let's just dive under that one. There we go. And now we need just need to dodge the torpedoes coming from the rear and meanwhile killing the Frenchman before he reloads. Okay, Frenchman's dead, torpedoes are mostly dodged. Alright, who's next? Next! North Carolina. Yup. 
Uh, there's a there's a burn in Cleveland. Mm, can I kill you this quick? Uh, no, he's dead already. Okay, Lexington sets me on fire. That's all right. Uh, North Carolina, you need to die. Okay, it looks like the North Carolina is basically running into the whole rest of my team because we haven't lost anyone yet. So you know what? Uh, they can have the North Carolina. Are there any Asashio Torps in the water? Maybe? No, doesn't look like. All right, I'm gonna catch myself with Lexington because uh, that North Carolina is gonna be dead before I get in secondary range, and what's the fun in that? Lexington, where are you? You're down there. Okay, let's dodge your torpedoes. Oh, parting shots at the North Cal. Where are your torpedoes? Do you not drop yet? Uh, come on. Oh, okay. Not, not bad, not bad. Oh, there you are. Alright, come on then. 6.45 kilometers. No, oh, you're running. Stop running. I want to stab you. Come on. Eight. Seven. Stop running away. Okay. Shoot, a, shoot down some planes while we're at it. And um, all right. If he doesn't want to brawl, then uh, I'll just kill him with my superior armor piercing. Almost in range. Almost in secondary range. Come on. Stop running away. Oh, he's shooting back. I like that. That one's got spirit. Okay. Okay. There come some more planes. You're going to make me... What are these? Torpedo planes? Okay. You're going to make me dodge, aren't you? Oh dear, I was already in secondary range. Okay, now you're gonna make me slow down and dodge your torpedoes. Okay, okay, I'll do it. All right. Can can I still get you? Can I still get you? Or is the other carrier gonna get him? Ah, the other carrier is gonna get him. All right then. That is the Cleveheim, the newest addition to the German Kriegsmarine. A relatively poorly armored but uh, poor damage ship, but it's actually a really decent brawler and um, has a fearsome beating that you can dish out. So uh, again, jokes aside, uh, don't try this at home because this thoroughly relies on, well, first of all, the enemy team letting you do this. And if you rush ahead at the beginning of the battle, you will get killed very, very quickly. <laughs> So if you've been on the Asian server yesterday and you've seen me doing stupid stuff in the Cleveland and you were, I was on your team and I just died within the first minute, I am utterly sorry. <laughs> that was just me trying to find out a way to uh, just to see how how far I can push her <laughs> in terms of taking point and brawling. So you do need to wait until the enemy team is spotted and then pick your targets and one-on-one -on -one fights because you cannot sustain the damage otherwise. But... Um, but that said, uh, secondary spec Cleveland is, um, is certainly fun. I've had battles where I've done almost 20,000 uh, 20, damage with the secondaries. So just that they didn't last very long. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's something you can do. But I would not necessarily recommend it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you have had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye. Enemy ship locked.